Hi, this is W. Eric Martin with Board Game Geek News. I'm here with Richard Borg uh, with the premiere of Memoir 44 Equipment Pack, which debuted at Gen Con 2012. And <laughs> that is a stunning pose, Richard. Very delightful. I Can was you covering up the price. Oh, <laughs> I see. Can you tell us a little bit about what's included in the pack? What's oh, what's what's being added this time? You can go ahead and zoom right in here if you would on the, all the figures that come with the game. There's a, like a lot of pieces. How many pieces are Brad? Brad knows more about it. How many pieces are in the game? 168. 168 pieces in the board game this time. We talk about tiger tanks. We talk about tank destroyers. Tank destroyers. We talk about Polish cavalry. Frenchmen are in here. It's all in this box. Right. The, uh, Plenty of scenarios and stuff too. So what? Are, so the scenarios, of course, focus on different pieces at different right. times and different settings. Um, right. The, basically, every one of the scenarios focuses on one of the particular aspects of the pieces that you're going to get with the battle or with the game. Yep. More. More. And it also lets you go back and reuse. Uh, the correct pieces for a large number of different scenarios. For instance, we have snipers here, which made their uh, debut in the Eastern pack, but now you can actually have a real sniper instead of just going, here's a cardboard token. So a lot of, uh, it gives you a lot of opportunity and flexibility to actually have a better representation. And since they're color neutral, you can paint them up in whatever flavor you'd like. That's For right. instance, I know some guy who grabbed all the Frenchmen yesterday and immediately painted them as Italians because he wanted to use the Italian army rules. So, there you go. It's almost like Brad knows your game better than you do, Richard. Yes. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. We're just, okay. so, We're just here for the fun. So, is this the limit of Memoir 44? I mean, is no, there, is there no, more? There's, no, there's like no. the cigarette rations pack and the... No, there's no cigarette rations pack, but okay. that's a great idea. I think I, I might promo item maybe, for the maybe future. We'll, maybe we could steal that for some time in the future, but no, not really. Uh, I, I'm a realm of ideas. We got like the gonorrhea expansion. No, we're not the, doing that kind of stuff. I hope that gets edited out. This all is right. like so at that point uh, we're okay. doing like the bear. The, okay, the, uh, he's the, editing. The bear mountain, I think he's ed, ed, we're editing out of that some of this stuff. But this is not the end. This is just the beginning. Actually, Days of Wonder is doing a fantastic job with their online game and uh, actually is bringing many more people into uh, playing memoir that never experienced it. I, we, we had a few people at our tournament uh, just the other day that said they really had not played before. They only had heard about it, they played one or two games, and then they got into the tournament. So it's surprising the number of people that really haven't heard of memoir and yet it's eight years old. Right. So, yeah, this is just the, we, I mean, next year is going to be a nice year. In 2014, it's actually the 70th anniversary of D-Day, mm -hmm. and it's going to be the 10th yeah. anniversary of Memoir 44. So the game actually has legs, and there's plenty of more coming. So for all your fans out there, it's, it's, it, it's just, there's a lot of cool things still to come. Did you want to talk a moment about Samurai Battles as well? Of yeah. course, we're in the Days of Wonder booth and it's total conflict. They don't care about Samurai Battle. Now we'll just Anything cover here? up the memoir stuff. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah, Samurai Battles is the other new game. Uh, actually, we had two other new games released this year. Uh, Abaddon is the game that uh, from Toy Vault mm -hmm. um, with fighting robots and stuff like that. It's, it's a fun, fast game. It's not as complex as some of the other commands and colors games that we have. Right. Um, the Samurai Battles is truly commands and colors through and through. It deals with Samurai Battles, um, basically, that's right, <laughs> um, and, and uh, actually it's kind of cool because there's two games in one. There's the Art of Tactics is in there, and there's also the commands and colors system. So you get kind of two games with one, but we're using the common pieces for both. Um, Actually, Brad's helped a little bit. He sent some information about some new scenarios that will be developed for the game. Uh, the game is selling fairly well. The pieces are just beautiful. Um, it seems like an art project almost, and yeah. you know, you have to, you have to get everything together. Zvezda basically is a model company. That's their that's their forte. They, I mean, they know how to do models, and these little pieces are actually plastic models. They're really that beautiful. Um, once again, begging to be painted, begging for, you know, play. They're delicate. They're delicate figures compared to some of the memoir stuff, but it, 
that still plays very well. The game plays right, center, and left. The dice, you know, do the battling, and command cards do the the activation. The trick of it is we have um, honor and fortune. Yeah, honor and fortune basically become the big thing in the game, and actually we have dragon cards that basically kind of modify the gameplay, but they do it in a historical way because we took things out of. Japanese legend or we took thing that actually happened in battles and stuck them on these special event type cards so that makes a nice segue there with the dragon card you also have dragon's bard yes uh, see I can I mean, Dra dragon's bard is on Kickstarter right now uh, Tracy Hickman has wrote a series of books called dragon's bard um, we did a game with Tracy trying to capture some of the flavor of his series of three books that'll be out and uh, it's a fast playing trick taking game um, What's the hook? I mean, every trick-taking game has to have like uh, its its twist. In the in this trick-taking game, the stuff that is low number cards actually do special things, or they each have a special ability that lets you do special things in the game. So even if you have a bunch of high number cards, even low number cards let you modify or change or throw some ringers into the game. So yeah, with a board play element as well, or there is not a really how? a board play, but a board is used to say what what items you're going for as far as in the game. You mentioned a number, number of other games. You also had Cowtown. Yeah, uh, Cowtown's, anything else? To Cowtown's on Kickstarter right now. Um, actually, I think it I think it funded. Yeah. So, and that's by um, Griffin Games, mm -hmm. Eagle Games, whatever their name is. They got a lot of different games, uh, but in their series, yeah. And that, that funded. Um, there are some other games in the works. Uh, so, I mean, you, you seem, I, I, you can say it, you're all over the place, but in a good way. I mean, I that, that's really, I mean, that's a huge scale from Samurai Battles to the Cowtown. Yes. I mean. Uh, good family game, good board game. That's right. Yeah. And then you have to have crossover rules. Uh, that's all. You have the cow faction coming in uh, well, to try to do all the. So I am full to, of ideas, Richard. No, don't, Richard, don't, you need me on, the, on the this. Best, team. I do have the. I, I would say samurai battle. So we've got the we've got the ca the cattle stampede scenario where the cattle come down and, and rampage to the countryside and right. run over. So see, you're all set. I mean, Japan is full of cattle. Exactly. Yes, yes. Right. you have mass hordes of them all over. We maybe tied, the there is a one scenario that we have where the historically they tied torches onto the cattle, drove them down, and the enemy saw them coming and ran away. So they, you know, so we do have a cattle attack, but. Uh, all Just, your games are like an interconnected oh, web. Yeah, sure. They they cross over. Well, it's all out of one mind. So <laughs> actually, that's what happens. However, I do have to say that some of the best games and some of the guys that that play down in Orlando, Florida, like like it when we come around to um, either Halloween. Yeah, usually, it's Halloween. We put on a weird game, and usually. Back in the day when Battle Lore was a little more popular, we would do Napoleonics against orcs or Napoleonics against, you know, the, the goblins. So it, it always gets fun. That's a weird thing. Should I ask about the future of Battle Lore? Is Battle there Lore is, Battle Lore is Fantasy Flight is, um, you know, concentrating on their hottest properties right now. And right. X-Wing is, you know, a hotter property than Battle Lore. So... The effort from that company is going to be in Star Wars stuff for a while. That's right, and Netrunner, yeah, no, Descent. I mean, yeah, it's, you know, those are your hot properties, so um, Battle War is not dead. It's just been put kind of on the back burner again, um, and that's because of the acquisition, I think, of the Star Wars program. So, But, yeah, we there's there's plenty of material out there for Battle Lore. If it's going to happen, I don't know. I remember talking to you years and years ago about various things. Yeah. And it's all, the, the, the it, possibilities are just. It's there. It's there. And we've done a lot of it. Right. I mean, a lot of it's completed. The undead army, necromancer army, Egyptian stuff, uh, reptilian armies. I mean, we've played them all. So it's, all that material is completed. It just depends if Fantasy Flight is going to be able to support it or wants to support it. Right, because you have, I mean, the tooling cost and this oh, yeah. and that, I mean, it's you're just, just, those are immense in terms yeah. of doing it. Well, you can see walking around, I mean, uh, you guys are doing that, you're walking around Gen Con and you're seeing all these new companies pop up with figures, especially the plastic figures, it's just amazing to me. So, and I don't know how they're doing it because it's very expensive stuff. Right. You know. Thank you very much for your time, Richard. All right, thank you Brad very much. Brad as well? Yep, thank you very all much. Right. Take care.